that. It's five o'clock. Thank y'all for sitting in for the setup. Appreciate it. Uh, well, we're here again with another COVID courtyard concert. Although, I don't know if you just tuned in, uh, the weather wasn't quite cooperative. We have thunderstorms in the area and it's, it's probably uh, steamy outside. You could probably, you know, you could, you could, you could cook pasta out there. Um, so I, instead of, this, is, this guitar is made out of hide glue, so I don't want to really put it out in the heat like that. Plus, why should I sweat What so kind much? of glue? Hide glue. Like deer hide? I have no, I have no idea what hide glue is. Could I be just, your hide. It's not your hide. It's not it? my hide. Uh, okay. It's hide glue, which means that it's not the same as uh, the chemical one that they that sometimes they make guitars out of that is almost impervious to weather. So this one has a tendency to maybe open up. I don't know. The, the humidity might kill it. Who knows? I don't really know. Uh, Chad Hugh Boss here. But it's been a hard week. Hello, Chad. I heard you. A friend of ours has a very sick little dog, and uh, so we've spent the day and yet half of yesterday trying to help her out, and that stresses me out. So I've been kind of real. Well, let's have, let's just say what it's called. Call it call a horse what it is. An asshole. And I'm really sorry about that. <laughs> I can tell the world that. Doug just dropped down to hear you call yourself an asshole. Hey, Doug. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm, I'm, it's been a hard one, and we kind of rushed to put this together because, fortunately, we didn't have to go uh, to some to the emergency to emergency vet. vet. So I think they got it all straight out, straightened out. So that's good. Uh, if you see on the list there, I have my PayPal, the correct Venmo, those of you who just joined, I missed the dash between the David and the Duce. It's David dash Duce dash four. Why is it four? I don't know. I can't believe there's four of us out there. And then there's that cash app. Whatever that is, is a little app that, uh, a lot of the chefs, uh, like Chef Scott and, um, Bo Dallas Jr. use, a lot of the Indians that they use that. I don't have any clue. I just decided I'd put it up there. We like it. It's it's very simple. It is. I, I hope we get the money and I hope they don't take too much away from it. So once again, we're here. Happy hour, swelter in place. It is happy hour, it's time to drink. Pink drink, no lime. You want lime? Uh, eventually, don't worry about it. And also, uh, New Orleans and Jefferson, Orleans and Jefferson Parish did very good with no deaths in the past three days, four days in a row, which is really good. So uh, with 25% occupancy on lots of uh, businesses and restaurants, things are starting to move along. We actually went to a restaurant this week, and uh, although the, the service was awesome, <laughs> it was friends of ours, so it was really good. So I can't say that was bad. So. The new normal, I, let's see, I'm up to eight, nine masks now. So I have a mask for every day. So I can wash that's them true, once a week. That's true, that's true. He's getting them from uh, Tracy. From Tracy. Uh, Kabuki lady. Ka ka Kabuki something, it says. Kabuki something. They're beautiful. And they're, they work for me. And I've got some coming from uh, Zazu, and, uh, or Zazzle rather, and still waiting on another one from somewhere else. And the American Heart Association is I think they're a little taxed, like we all are. So let's relax. If you do have a request, Dee Dee's there to read them to me if I can see that. And if I, if I can do it, I'll try. Here we go. We always start off with You Are My Sunshine. This is for Miss Christiane, Miss Geisler, Duce. That's right. That's right. We In miss France, you. we do. We miss you. Thank you so much. We miss you. I want to know where that is because actually we were planning on going to. Uh, uh, Ren. Ren, and I was, we we're going to take a little side trip to come visit you, but of course, the world butted in and screwed up everybody's plans. So, an, an odd foie, perhaps. Thank you, and he does have the actual what hide glue is comprised of, if you want to know. That's okay, right now. It's not... <laughs> <laughs> we'll start off as usual. This is a sweet dedicated to all the people with cats. My sunshine. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love. The 
night, dear, as I lay sleeping, I dreamt I held you in my arms. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. You are my favorite song. That's a great song, isn't it? Michelle Lavoie's mama used to sing it. Wow. And Christine Huardon's grandmother used to sing it. Well, it's, it is a great song. And, you know, I said this before, I don't know if some of y'all heard that, but years, many years ago, late 70s, we played a gig with, uh, with Jimmy Davis and the Baton Rouge Symphony at the, it used to be called the Centroplex. I don't know if it is anymore. I don't think it is. I think it's called the Rivergate now, but, uh, and that was, of course, the song that we did numerous times with Jimmy Davis, as well as the uh, Mark Sabal was there. Mark and Ann played this this gig too. It was quite a big to do. And we, of course, we sang it in French, and I lost the words. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I do have them somewhere. All right, let's see if I can get this thing in tune. I want to thank y'all for listening again. It's great to be here. Thank y'all. Uh, it looks to me that. In terms of the music world, they still haven't figured out how to open up bars and music clubs. So, Lord only knows when that's going to happen. The events are canceled left and right, festivals. So, we still, what we got is what we got, which is this, virtually. I'm going to tell you, I'll tell you an update week to week. We're this close now with the live Beausoleil show. I swear, but we're going to have to practice before we do it because we hadn't played in three months, two and a half months. But, but it'll be on the Beausoleil webpage, uh, our uh, Facebook page. I will announce it whenever it happens. It will go live with that somehow. Pigs, wait, hell's frozen over. Uh, pigs hell's can fly. fly. Otherwise, we'll get together and go to KRVS and have them do it professionally and just do a live performance from there. That's probably, that's another option that we could do. We could wear the the masks and everything. I will also say that next week, my brother and I uh, and Chad Hubal are supposed to do a show at Chicky Wawa here in New Orleans, uh, not for open for the public, but uh, Dale there has got a couple of cameras. He's got a cameraman or something, and he's gonna film Michael and Chad and me uh, for streaming in Europe and Australia. I don't know how he does this. And then to the US. So we'll have a, a semi, a live on tape show but I don't know when that's gonna happen. I'll probably note, I'll note that on the Beausoleil Facebook page too, uh, which y'all are welcome to go click likes because we only have 7,962 people. I'd love to make 10,000 uh, likes or people that are interested in it. We're still here, Beausoleil's still here. We just haven't had a chance to play. All right. You can leave requests there too. <laughs> leave requests there too. Oh, I get them too, by the way. I really do. This is burning out my battery, so I'm turning that off. Yeah. Uh, so, 
I figured I'd do easy today and start off with Ton Ayu, which is uh, not Ton Ayu, um, Ton Papa. Ton Papa is someone who read, uh, uh, requested a couple of weeks ago. This is usually my warm up song. Jean Bertrand, I learned that uh, I think it was Maus Lefleur recorded this in 1928. And apparently there was some kind of fight involved what happened to do with about five gallons of whiskey that fell on the floor. So there was some kind of argument that happened. How much whiskey? Five gallons. You sure? No, no I'm not sure, of course. Also, that would be fun. Yeah, well. Can you still buy whiskey by the gallon? In 1928, you could. <laughs> See, those were good. Those actually were the good old days. Uh, Ask Jean Bertrand. He's up there. 99 Playboys. He's, he's Is up, Jean here? I don't know if he's there today. But, I like uh, his banjo playing. I think it's fun. He's been working on his banjo playing. All right. I don't forget my strap. No wonder it feels fun. Sorry, I don't even know where it is. Where is it? In my that bag over there. I got it. Guitar shouldn't fall. Uh, famous last words. So this is a song that... Uh, uh, I worked up uh, thanks to uh, Roger Mason who gave me the ideas and uh, uh, it's a song that I always like to play and, and uh, learn how to sing later. It's called the Chat Jou Rose which means the pretty rosy cheeks and it's a song from Austin Peet's uh, song book and uh, Austin played it on violin but he was also known as an accordion player and as I say from week to, uh, when we used to play it at the columns he uh, seemed to be uh, he did anathema to wear a strap when he played the accordion so he could show off his forearms. Either that or no one figured out how to put a strap on an accordion. So I have a photograph of him on my, 
musician page of him playing the accordion behind his head. Anyway, this is a song that he's quite famous for. The Balfour Brothers also recorded this and other people. Pretty Rosy Cheeks. It's a song about a fellow that he's got a date that he has to clean, shave, and all that, and it makes him a little late. And he's standing on the, her porch, the gallery, and he's worried that uh, she might cancel the date because he's just a little bit late. Well, she doesn't cancel anything. Puppies having some happy hour treats. Jane Vadrine has joined us. Hello, Jane. Hello, Jane. We enjoyed your son's uh, cooking demonstration. Absolutely. <laughs> I, it's a recommendation. It's a re if you want to see how to make Cajun rice and gravy with turkey necks, go to it's Joe Vadrine or uh, something jalopy. I can't. Theater of the, the Jalopy Theater. I'm not quite sure what it's called. We'll figure that out. We're gonna find because out, you got to see it, or you could just Google it, maybe. Or hire him to cook for you. Or you can hire him to cook for you. It's pretty funny. He's the first Cajun I've ever known that's called himself the freelance Cajun. <laughs> he will do anything Cajun for you. <laughs> that is Joe Vadrin, J O. And uh, speaking of Joe's, Joanne Fitzpatrick oh. is here too. Hello. Yeah, absolutely. Do we have a request from her? No, we don't have. Well, we have a request. We got to teach her, teach her daughter how to play the T fair. That reminds me of another thing. Michael and Cameron Dupuy play at six, or is it six thirty? I'm not quite sure. Uh, look for them. D U P U I. Michael Dupuy, and uh, they have a good show. And Cameron is an awesome accordion player. Yes, he is. Uh, 
they put on really good shows. They, uh, they've missed their gigs. They've been playing on Bourbon Street, what, four nights a week and at the airport and other places around town, like several breweries. And uh, this thing's put a, a dent in everybody's pocketbook for sure. It's just bad. So <clears throat> let's hope for the best. So Jay says Swamp in the City. Does that ring you, Bill? Swamp in the City. There you go. Thank you, Jay. <laughs> Eddie Easel just joined from the West Coast. Hello, Eddie. And that is the dog chewing. It's popcorn treats. All right, popcorn. What's yeah. next? All right, we're going to play some folk songs. Oh, drunk Drinking in the ditch. Songs. Drunk in the ditch songs. Yay. I have two themes today. And of course, they can they could all go to, to hell. But the, <laughs> You know, since Merle Fest was canceled this year too, like Jazz Fest, they put on a a, uh, a really nice show of, of their favorite shows over the years, over the weekend for Merle Fest from Thursday until the Sunday. And there's been a lot of activity with uh, my friend T. Michael Coleman, who has a great Facebook page called Picket Sun. And there's been a lot of videos of Doc and uh, Doc Watson and stuff. And so they have a Memorial Day deal happening uh, through Merle Fest with Doc. I'm not quite sure where the website is on that or where it is on Facebook, but it's brought up a lot of memories of stuff that I used to play. So when I get through the Cajun stuff, we will we'll move over to a couple of Doc things. So the theme I had of the day was being drunk in a ditch or eating rotten bananas or something to make you sick and make you drink or the drinking makes you sick. And the other part is a couple of uh, Doc songs, it's English ballads that I thought would be kind of interesting. They might be a little long, but hey, what the heck? You got time, don't we? So, <laughs> we got somewhere to go? <laughs> Anne Marie's here. Hello, Anne Marie. It's great to know all of you are there. I appreciate it. Yeah, it is great. And it, it's, it requires a couple of days' work for me to pull up how not to repeat songs. Because one's tendency is to just play the songs that you normally would play. And we don't do that here. So I try not to repeat. I'm only about halfway through the songbook of songs that I've collected over the years. Uh, working on that, so. So be sure you wear your mask. <laughs> that's right. Where is your uh, guitar strap? In that bag that's probably under the accordion case. Oh. The white bag. This one is a song that I learned from Ken Ray. I adapted from Ken Ray Fontenot and a little bit of uh, uh, Oak Tac Clark. And it's got a long name, Latine Gaton Jolie, Jolie Malade. It's also called, thank you, it's also called Le Coulis Rodin. And this song is about a guy, at least Ken Ray's version is, he gets, uh, it, this guy gets, this little boy gets a, a date and he gets so excited that he has to go get a bottle of whiskey and he falls in a ditch and gets drunk. Uh, something we used to do when I was a teenager. Uh, probably from total boredom, lack of imagination, whatever. The most important thing is when Can Ray would, when he had a few himself, he'd love to say, That was kind of the, uh, the chorus line. I think, I think I'll put it in there. We'll see. So it goes something like this. This is a cool tune, and my friend John Fole, good guitar player, great guitar player, has, he loves this song. It's almost impossible to find Follow Me because the timing is so weird on it. In fact, that's not even sounds like the original song, to tell you the truth. And I'm not running myself down, it's just the truth. When I listen to my version <laughs> and hear the original, said, How did I come up with this? It doesn't even make sense. So there you go. The Tinega Tonjolin. I told you it was a weird day.
Venga, Don Juline, Juli Malat. Ya preparé, dimo ya permití. Y ale vos, ya pretendí. Él es tan bien, me da la cura de la verme. Ya se me anima. Le dime que Don Juline, Juli Malat. Ya preparé, por un botón. Y ale vos, ya pretendí. Il est tombé, mais dans la coupe de la ronde, ça se fait du mal qu'à Instead of drinking, that's drunken. I think that's good. Some right? drunken songs. Some drunken songs. Let's see here. How about the hack on the rope? That's a drunken song. ING or EN. <laughs> I'm not quite sure yet. Let's do something else. Is Ben Samuel out there? Cameron Dupuy showed up. Rod Hodges showed up. Philip James is here. Hello, all of you. Yeah. Yeah, Michael yeah. Burke. Oh, <laughs> yeah, he, uh, the man who shot Liberty Valance. Ah, thank you. <laughs> the man who shot Liberty <laughs> Valance. <laughs> I might have a weird one for y'all today that, if I got time. One that, a Bing Crosby Western song that uh, was actually stolen from the Sons of the Pioneers. We'll see what happens. Would that be an English ballad? Or no, that's, that's, not, that's, that's the. That's an American song. Okay. Okay. Okay, so this is the ultimate of the drinking songs. Well, it's not really drinking so much as eating a rotten banana and getting sick in a dish. So, <coughs> whatever that means. <laughs> <coughs> Hello, Butternut. It's time for cognac. I think it might be time for the cognac. I think it's time for cognac. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. This is one that uh, we recorded on, uh, Bosley recorded on our L'Amour or La Folie album. It did win a Grammy. I suppose I should bring the Grammy out here. I'd be like uh, Terrence Simeon. I could put my Grammy out here, on both of them. Uh, but they're on top of the cookbook. But they're on, the, this, he can't get to them. I'm just looking at them. He can't get to them. <clears throat> this is a song that we put together in the studio. Uh, it's from a Alan Lomax session that he recorded in 1934. And I've actually put two songs together. Uh, one was called Dago, and the other one was called, uh, oh shoot, I don't even remember the name of it. They're both field hollers, or jurés, and we adapted this. Thank you very much. I need that one. I don't know if it's any good anymore. It's been there since last Friday. But it's cognac, right? Oh, it's still good. <laughs> <laughs> I put two songs together, and I called it uh, Boudreaux. Boudreaux, uh, he's got some rotten bananas and got sick in a ditch. Not really drunken, but close enough. Kind of did this in the style of uh, Richard Thompson. There's a rhythm in there that I heard that was like him. Why? 
Kvajňa, kvajňa ve vietru. 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 Kvajňa ve vietru.
Oh, is that a close and pass away? That takes your breath away. And on your voice. And your now. cognac. Sorry. It could be the soft and the pass away. Oh. While you're having your cognac, you got a visitor from Vermont, Ken O'Connell. Hello. Pokerside showed up. Hello, Poker. Hello. And Dave Hovde. Dave Hovde. Librarian and professor and potter extraordinaire. That would be Dave Hovde. Philip James is clapping somewhere in North Carolina. So I'm reenacting the clap. <laughs> All right, y'all. You have a lot of requests, though, but. I think what you're going to have to do... Like what? All those TV shows that you love, there's Paladin. Oh. <laughs> Is that from Eddie? No, it's Michael Barga, oh, actually. Michael Barga. Yeah. So we're going to do... And also, wait. Keith Cravey's got a really good idea. Yes. For next week's theme. Yeah. Food. That'd be fun. I could do that. Well, yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> you can do a poulet roti and a demi du Zandes wheat. I think that can be arranged. Thanks, yeah, Keith. That's a good idea for, uh, yeah. Keith, are you in Vietnam or are you here? <laughs> what country are you in? That's a good idea. We haven't done food yet. We, we've done no, drunk in a ditch. Food, but, not... but that was a couple, three or four weeks ago. <clears throat> you know, I do put, this stays on Facebook all the time. It ain't going nowhere. <laughs> I also, there's some people that don't have Facebook, so I, I painstakingly. <laughs> upload these shows after, you know, Friday night, and I'll upload them to uh, YouTube. And my channel, of course, is David Ducey, and they're all there since the beginning. We're going to totally jump track right now. We're going to do a little more drunk songs, though. I got one for you. It's an odd one. This is for my friend Doug. He's in New Orleans. He's just down in the quarter. Oh, Keith? Yeah. I think he lives here. Cool. Thanks for the theme, Keith. Got a lot of people from Virginia saying hi. Hello, Virginia. Ken Pollock and... Oh, Ken. My yeah. God. Yeah. And Don Longer. Is that how you pronounce that, Don? I don't know. Al Deutsch would be longer hair. Oh, but it's got the... We're missing a letter. He needs to buy a vowel. <laughs> you know, oddly, my favorite... Oh, I'm in a mess here. My favorite faux place, okay, is about a block and a half away. It's called Faux Cam Lee. And it's been open for about five, six years. But they've been shut down. And I, I was thinking today <clears throat> how much I miss faux. I haven't had a faux in a long time. Gotta get up, gotta get on that. We go to the faux bang or something. But folk well, you know what though? That's a really good idea though. People, if they, when people listen to you tune and everything, if there's something new that's open that they want you to talk about, that'd be, you know, because we all need the info. None of us has it. You know, I've discovered that <clears throat> we. it's so weird when you see someone you know, you know, you, 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 you know you can't touch each other, you can't shake hands, you can't pat someone on the back, you can't do anything. You got masks on usually unless you're walking the dog and you don't have it on because you're walking in your neighborhood and running into someone you know. It's been very awkward and very tense and you know, uh, it's hard. So when something new opens up, it's like after Hurricane Katrina, it's like, wow, they're open, let's go. So we'd go, you know, could try out this restaurant or whatever, this bar or whatever, whatever it was, you know, it's like they're all community centers and you have to go see the people that you know. And this is following that pattern very, very closely. And you know, it's, you gotta support the people you love and the products you love. Mm. That's true, so if y'all know a faux shop, it's open. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Weed. <laughs> <coughs> With an ice cube, please. <laughs> Weed. <laughs> this is a song from my friend Doug. <clears throat> I think you know this one. This is the old country boy song, you know. <clears throat> i got to make sure I have a voice for it. Uh, it's keeping with the drunk theme, or drinking theme. It is happy hour. <laughs> I've talked about this guy before. He, uh, Doc Watson would play with uh, Clint Howard and Fred Price as a little trio, they, 
actually was a, a quartet when Clarence Ashley was alive. And Clint Howard learned a lot of these songs from uh, Clarence Ashley, Tom Clarence Ashley. <clears throat> so this is one of them. It's kind of corny, but you know. It's called Three Nights Drunk. But I found a version that has five verses, so it'd be five nights drunk. And then there's the Irish version that's seven nights drunk. <laughs> I don't have time for the seven. This is good song. Well, the first night when I come home, as drunk as I could be, there stood a horse there in the barn where my horse ought to be. Come here, you little wife, and explain this thing to me. How come a horse here in the barn where my horse ought to be? miles or more But a saddle up on a milk cow's back I've never seen before No one ever saw a horse with udders, right? Well, the second night when I got drunk as I could be There hung a coat there on the rack where my coat ought to be Explain this thing to me. How come a coat here on the rack where my coat ought to be? on a bed quilt I've never have seen before. Here's the rough verse. Well, the third night when I got home, as drunk as I could be, there lay a head there on the pillar of my head all to be. Come here, you little wifey. Explain this thing to me. How come I had there on the pillar where my head ought to be? Yo, boo, you blind fool, why can't you never see? Ain't nothing but a cabbage head your mother gave to me. Well, I've traveled over this country over a thousand miles or more. But a mustache on a cabbage head I've never have seen before. All right. A little country humor there for once. A shit ton of sexism put on there. Tons of it. <laughs> What's I do like the cabbage with the mustache, though. I think that we ought to... Maybe we should... You know like that movie where Tom Hanks has that ball that he puts, you know... Wilson? Yes. yes. Yeah. Maybe we got to get you a cabbage head with a mustache. I like on. that. Yeah. That's a Dave Hovey. He likes that song. Thank you, Dave. <laughs> we got a lot more people over here. Cool. June Drucker just dropped in. Hello, June. Yeah, no kidding. need you on right? bass. You should be I here. I know, exactly. Where's Al? We need to get Al hooked up. Jimmy uh, Bertitel. <clears throat> Excuse me. Susan Bundig says that they've got great fun in, the, uh, in Minnesota. Is that right? Yeah, we're not going to be there anytime soon. <laughs> I'm sorry, Susan. I was talking about Magazine Street. <laughs> a little closer. <coughs> anyway. They both start with the M's. That's really good. The cognac's there. So. All right. So, <clears throat> I was thinking about this song last night, the day before, whatever. There was a group called the Blinky, Binky Brothers or whatever. They were also called the Dixie Clod Hoppers. You know that's a porno shop. Yeah, but that's... That's, that's Mr. Binkies. But in 1945 it was. That's, 
Thank you, OZ, by the way, for publishing. publishing. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the Dixie Claude Hoppers, Claude Hoppers, recorded a couple of songs, and uh, they're famous in the annals of history and bluegrass history is that they had to cancel a gig in probably September of 1945, maybe October, whatever, late in the fall. And the only choice to take their place was Bill Monroe, believe it or not. And that was the first time that Bill Monroe showed Bill Monroe and the Bluegrass Boys. So it took him a while to get back on the Opry. He had been on the Opry with his brother Charlie for years. So this is a song that Doc recorded and I learned, I learned his version. Uh, it's a great weird tune and I can play some really awful harmonica on it, so pardon the, 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 the bad notes, but... I forgot what the song is. Nobody knows what it is. <laughs> it's called, uh, Give Me Back My 15 Cents. Oh, that's right. Bruce Springsteen played it at the Justice. We're, we're in our um, country boy mode here. We're gonna move on to the Cowboys in a little bit, or some other things that I have. But... <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, while you're doing that, oh, Thane yeah. Tierney says there's another version of the old fool, you damn fool, uh -huh. that involves genitalia. Oh. The wife says it's a candle. <laughs> I think I saw that one last the, night. The wife says it's a candle, and he remarks, bollocks on a candle. I've never seen it. Not bad, huh? Not bad at all. Not bad at all. That's getting a little So low. does that mean that that song can, can be Appalachian, Irish, yeah. And English, so you could cover. I would say Scots Irish, Appalachian. So that's a triple play. Bollocks, baby. Wow. That's right, it's a triple play. There it is. No wonder it didn't sound right. Wrong key. Woo! It's like getting the wrong accordion now. Give me back my 15 cents. But then I met a brutal little girl and soon we played the devil. I loved that gal and she loved me and I thought we'd live together. But then we tied that fatal knot and now I'm gone forever. Give me back my 15 cents, give me back my money. Give me back my 15 cents and I'll go home to man. Man and a dollar for the paper And then oh dear old mother-in-law moved in Lordy what a caper I fiddled the tune for her one day She called me a joker And that old sow got mad at me And hit me with the poker Give me back my 15 cents Give me back my money Give me back my 15 cents And I'll go home to mammy Oh, give 
Give me back my 15 cents. Give me back my money. Give me back my 15 cents and I'll go home to me. the first y'all ever playing that in front of people. I hope it worked out. <laughs> I'm looking at Dee Dee's face. Uh-oh. <laughs> no, I'm just wondering if we need more cognac. Yeah. I think that's it. <laughs> you need to play that. Oh, that was that song. Hmm. The one with the cabbage head had Doc or somebody going inebriated. That's right. That Remember Doc. that? Yes. Someone said that. That was somebody's version. Yeah. Ed McCann is up there in Connecticut and said to tell you hi. Hello, Ed. Yeah, no kidding, right? That's politics up there. I like your Bill pictures. Bennett just dropped by. Hello, Bill. No kidding, I miss Bill Bennett, man. Well, that's not, I miss everybody. That's been kind of rough. <laughs> kind of. I hope that everybody is well, and that, you know, it's terrible how much death and destruction there is in this country and the world, uh, which apparently didn't have to be that way, but it is. So, the frontline workers. All the people at Toro. All the people at Toro Infirmary. Yeah. Just I'm in the shadow of it here. And I did call up there for the cardio rehab to see if it was still, uh, if they were going yet. And no, it's still closed. So nobody, there's no outpatients anywhere, uh, at least in our, in our neighborhood. No foe, no, no cardio. Fo no foe cardio. That's right, baby. Well, I thought I'd. Uh, kind of delve into something else and uh, finish this up. This one I really play bad harmonic on, so we're going to find out how what happens here. But I was thinking about this. I was whistling this song the other day, and I said, you know, it's a long time that I haven't done it. I used to play it years ago at the Red Dog Saloon. So pulling out all these songs out of the hat, it's been quite an adventure. So about three or four years ago, I... For some reason, I got back into the uh, Kingston Trio, all right? I never liked their version of the uh, of Tom Dooley because I, I, I heard Doc's version and it was, you know, apparently there was someone in this family. They were related to all this stuff. So that these are all real stories. And the uh, I never liked the, the Kingston Trio version, like I said. So when I heard the Doc version, I said, wow, this is really cool. It's got a drive. It's got stuff. I think it was probably... Uh, because it was a local song, everyone knew the, the characters involved and stuff, so I thought I'd play that one, or try to. It's Tom Dooley is the name of it. I also realized that a lot of these songs from the folk boom from the 60s, a lot of people don't know any of these songs anymore. They haven't heard them in, you know, 40 years, 50 years, so they're kind of like new songs, and it's fun to explore them. So this is apparently a true story, and the guy, uh, Tom Dooley, is really innocent, although he got hanged for a crime he didn't commit. So that's basically the, the storyline here. He would not tell. He was saving someone else. Tom Dooley, hang your head and cry. You killed poor Laurie Foster and you left her bound to die. You left her by the hillside where you can be excused. You left her by the roadside, then you hit her clothes and shoes. Hang your head, Tom Dooley, hang your head and cry. You killed poor Laurie Foster and you know you're bound to die. Oh, 
trouble, all its trouble, a rolling through my breast. As long as I'm a living boy, they ain't gonna let me rest. I know they're gonna hang me tomorrow, I'll be dead. Though I never even harmed a hair on poor little Laurie's head. Hang your head, Tom Dooley, hang your head and cry. You killed poor Laurie Foster and you know you're bound to die. One more than reckon where I'll be If it wasn't for Sheriff Grayson I'd be in Tennessee You can take down my old violin And play it all you please For at this time tomorrow boys It'll be no use to me Hang your head Tom Dooley Hang your head and cry You kill for Larry Foster And you know you're bound to die Way down yonder in the holler, hanging on a wide oak tree. Hang your head down, Dooley, hang your head and cry. You killed poor Laurie Foster, and you know you're bound to die. Who haven't done that in a long time? I just did a good murder ballad. It is a good murder ballad. It it's is. a true story, too, so that even makes it even a better murder ballad. That's right, because Ed McKeon just said that his real name was Tom Dua, and that's they're right. listening to your murder ballads as they have their dinner. So it is kind of a... That's kind of weird. Maybe that's a reopening thing. Maybe we should tell the chefs to do murder ballads and reopen. No. 25%. 25% occupancy. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to... Tommy Elise likes the harmonica. Thank you, Tommy. Yeah, isn't that cool? That's cool. I miss you, Tommy. I miss all of you guys. Yeah. You better get your internet in order. <laughs> We're getting ready to start playing. By the way, Tommy, sooner or later, when hell freezes over and pigs fly, there's going to be a Bosa Lake concert. We're going to do a lot of You're all going to be wearing masks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Danielle Novak has dropped by to say hi. Mm -hmm. Danielle. Hello. Lydia's best friend. Hello, Danielle. And uh, Latrice Chardell is here. Jones here. She likes the harmonica too, and Donna. Thank y'all. Appreciate it. Sometimes guitar, you got too much of one thing, you know, too much guitar. It's like. Are you gonna play something else? Yeah, I'm gonna play some more. No, not good. You... The harmonica is never over. You never know. It might pop up. It's not gonna be on this next one. Oh, I thought you said you weren't gonna play guitar anymore. No, no, no. You need to add other instruments to it. Oh, okay. This is one of. Uh, <laughs> This is one of the one of my favorite Doc Watson records was one called Home Again. I believe it came out in 1966. I didn't get it until 1968, 78, 79. 80. 90. 80. Where's Becky? Where's Smith? Becky Smith? <laughs> <laughs> she ain't here today. No, she's here. <laughs> she's writing down all your decades. She's your librarian. Yes. Marvelous. This is one that Doc did, and I always liked it, and I don't know where he got it from, and it's obviously an English ballad. Uh, it's called Georgie, and the, the thing is, is that uh, for any musician, and I always tell this to a musician, if I have a workshop about musicianship, is the songs that you learn how to play, you learn how to adapt to the songs that you actually do play. There's a difference. I don't, I rarely get the opportunity to play all these Doc Watson songs and some of these other strange songs that I've been pulling up because I, I play Cajun music. But they all are additive. They make sense to me and, and where this is where you get your, your ideas from. So it's been fun for the past two and a half months or so to dig up songs that help me develop my style of playing music and how I approach music. So this one is, is a typical English ballad, I would assume. It's in a minor key. I've noticed that most English songs are in minor key. Maybe the lute was, I don't know. Uh, it's, 
What, it, harder to play in a major key? I have no idea. I know Probably nothing about it. Probably just sad and depressed. Sad and depressed. There we go. <laughs> this one is Georgie. As I walked over London Bridge one misty morning early, I heard some fair young maiden say, Lord, spare me the life of Georgie. Go saddle me up my milk white steed and ride on him so gaily. Then ride away to the king's high court to plead for the life of Georgie roared up and he bent for himself. He says, I never murdered any, but I stole 16 of the king's best deeds and sold them in Romani. Then the oldest lawyer at the bar says, George, I'm sorry for you. But your own confession condemns you to die. May the Lord have mercy upon you. If I was over on yonder hill where kisses I've had a plenty, with my sword and my pistol by my side, I'd fight for the life of Georgie. As Georgie was walking through the streets, he bid farewell to many, and then he bid farewell to his own true love, which grieved him worse than many. Georgie was hanged with a golden cord, just like you have never seen many, for he was a member of the royal race, Loved by a virtuous lady. Kind of different approach, different than what I normally would play. That's also missing a verse, but that's all right. <laughs> well, what, what's what's going on there? Well, apparently. Uh, so they're, they're made on the bridge. There's a woman that loves this 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 little guy. They're both royals, okay. And he's he's falsely accused of of doing something, but he uh, he's he self confesses that he's actually stolen sixteen of the the king's best deeds and he sold them in another country, which is apparently a something that is the cause of death, the death penalty. So there's nothing you can do. So I have to find that other verse because I don't know why it's not in there. But anyway, but it's uh, the thing so I like. So you heard it first from Doc. Yeah. And it was mainly the the word order and the word choice. It was kind of interesting. It's a pretty song. It's a pretty song. Yeah. So this one, I, I know my friend Richard Barron really doesn't hang out on uh, you, uh, Facebook or YouTube, but I thought I'd do this one. Oh, it's getting on time. This is a long song. Maybe I'll save it for another time. It's another of the English ballads. It's got 3,000 verses. And that's what I liked about it. <laughs> I think I might just go somewhere else with that. I just don't think I'm going to play this one today. It's kind of sad. Is it? Awesome? Yeah, it's sad. It's all. Well, it's, it's a song about adultery and 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 and, and uh, Oh, by all means, play it. It's down. a Fairport Convention song. See, they did it too, but they did it to the tune of um, uh, Shady Grove. Shady Grove, my little love. Shady Grove, I say. And Doc does, and he does some different melodies. But I'll save that for another time because it's way too long. Patty's um, here from Hawaii. Hello. Yeah, no kidding, right? That sounds cool. Well, I'll play a semi psyche right. song for you. There Abby you go. And there and you go. Uh, but we can you, we can do more English ballads next week if they want, right? Yeah. It's just they all have three thousand verses. You gotta be prepared for it. You, you gotta eat be popcorn and stuff. Get popcorn. Make big drinks, not little drinks, right? You don't want a little drink. Half gallon. Five gallons of whiskey. <laughs> Where's Jean Bertrand when you need him? Where is Jean Bertrand when you need him? 
All right, so this one, I was fortunate enough to uh, to play music. Thank you. Jane's still out there. She's the one that introduced me. She to... went blueberries. She went blueberry picking. Oh, bye, Jane. Uh, <laughs> to Brownie Ford, and this was one of the songs that Brownie played, and he never intimated who actually did it. He just kind of said that he did it. And which means he wrote it, which isn't true. And I'm not sure if Hank Williams wrote it or not, but but he actually recorded it, and that's where I figured that damn old Brownie was a is a scoundrel. Made me say for years that he had written the song, and he hadn't. And it was only my fault for not being familiar with all of Hank Williams's catalog. So, which is kind of hard to do. Some of the stuff takes time, y'all. This one's called "On the Banks of the Poncha Train." I don't have to tell you the story, it's in English, so there you go. <laughs> <laughs> don't really have to say much about it. Unless nobody knows what Lake Ponja Train is, if that's, if that's always possible. It's also called, there's variations of the song. Um, shoot, they're not coming to me. It's, it's not the banks of the Poncha Train, it's something else. Um, one of them is the shores of the Poncha Train. And all that. It must have been a fun, it's a fun word to see. If you look at Poncha Train, how it's spelled P O N T C H A R T R A I N. I used to, uh, when I taught history uh, in uh, a junior college, I used to teach out in the 80s. I used to give a spelling test on how do you spell the streets and things that the, like things of important sites of New Orleans. And Poncha Train was one of them, and you'd be surprised how many different spellings I got for Poncha Train. Poncha Train, Chapatillas, uh, Mississippi, for Mississippi that matter. Mississippi, for that matter. <laughs> anyway, I put it into uh, slack key tuning, which is open G, and it goes like this. Well, I traveled from Texas to old Louisiana. And valleys and plains. Foot sore and weary, I rested a while on the banks of the old Poncha Train. There was the fairest young maiden that I'd ever saw, just as it started to rain. We both found shelter beneath the same tree on the banks of the old Shower an hour or so. I asked her how long I remained. She asked me, I said that I'd spend the rest of my years on the banks of the old Poncha Train. But I could not tell her that I had escaped a jail on the West Texas plain. I hoped in my heart that I'd never be found on the banks of the old Poncha Train. Go west again. I left without saying farewell to that maid on the banks of the old punch train. Filled with sadness and shame I hope that someday I'll be free to return To the 
maid on the old punchy tray. To the maid on the old punchy tray. Sad. You're playing so many sad songs. I'm in a sad mood. You're in a sad mood. Yeah, I'm sorry. Well, are you going to play the ukulele today? No, I'm not. I haven't, oh. I haven't practiced it. Sorry. It's hard to be in a sad mood with a ukulele. True. You know, I took the ukulele out about a month ago to play on here, and I didn't get one response from anybody, so I assume that y'all didn't like the ukulele. So. It's better with a band. They could have easily been overwhelmed and didn't know you played ukulele. That's true. I mean, Paul Paulette didn't know that you played ukulele, accordion, harmonica, um, spoons. Spoons. That's what a terrible spoons play with it. <laughs> Too fair. For toi. <laughs> For toi, I can't play. That's Billy Ware's territory. I can't do that. <laughs> All right, let's see okay, here. Okay, we finally found something you can't play then. There's a lot that I can't play. <laughs> Look, Susan just said she loved, everybody loved you. They just didn't know how to tell you. Just like that would have worked. <laughs> Alright, here we go. This is one that, um, uh, sometimes we have a bass player where we play the columns. Taylor Smith is there. And he likes this song, and I thought I'd play it. I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to finger pick it or flat pick it. It's called Walkin' Boss. And it's a train song, or a, a guy on the road gang, train gang or whatever, making tracks. Which reminds me, I haven't played one Mississippi John Hurt song. But anyway. It's called The Walking Boss, and uh, it's a very simple song, a couple of chords, and it's basically a banjo song, but I don't have a banjo, so here we go. <laughs> Long. 
it is the day of weird songs. It mm-hmm. is the day of weird songs. <laughs> Nathan Williams popped by saying, hey, cuz. What's going on, Nathan? Yeah, he right. The Zodicos. The Zodicos. Which is very nice. It's not every day you're going to get Nathan, Nathan Williams to come say hi. Uh-huh. I love that. I appreciate it. Yeah, no kidding, right? All right, so. We love the cha-chas. Oh, my gooey. This is one that I wanted to do for a long time. Uh, when I was a kid, <laughs> I'm still a kid. <laughs> I used to listen to a lot. We had a Frankie Lane album. It was called Hell Bent for Leather. And it was pink? No, it wasn't pink, but he was down in the front. He had his gun. He was leaning against a, you know, an old <laughs> fence or something. And Frankie Lane was from New Jersey. I'm sure that his popularity of singing Rawhide was... His career must have catapulted and had no idea. He never even seen a horse in his life, probably, but uh, that's beside the point. He spent the rest of it in Las Vegas, so it couldn't have been that bad. So. <laughs> that was a great story. <laughs> so this, this, hang on, this album, if you've never seen it, it's called Hell Bent for Leather. It has the original rawhide on it, and it's got some very... Uh, Wait, it's a movie? Or no, a it's an album, okay. and it's got some stylized country songs, you know, Western songs. And this one I did some research on, and uh, actually, there's two songs I play, but I don't know, Didi doesn't want me to go too late today. So. No, 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 that's not me. That's actually not me. So we I just play have, the funny we didn't one know first? we were going to have to go to the vet or something. Okay. That's all. It's... Should I play the funny one first or the, 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 the Bing Crosby version <laughs> second? I don't, I don't know which Ask one. Ask Michael Burke. Is he still here? Michael Burke, you still there? He likes these things. The cowboy. Mm. So we got, what do we got? We got a Bing Crosby cowboy? Yes, and it was done by the Sons of the Pioneers, I believe, and it's called uh, Along the Navajo Trail, and it is not the easiest song in the world to play, okay? okay. Uh, it's just one of those. But, you know, I've been playing this for years, and my brother and I, we play it. Uh, sometimes it's sound check, believe it or not, and uh, he'll throw out a different key to me, which ca- it, it causes a lot of work on my end, and it's always worth it because transposing on the spot is really where it's at. So here we go. This is the Frankie Lane version, uh, my version of a Frankie Lane <laughs> song. That it's called "Along the Navajo Trail," and you know, years ago I've been digging around off, dug around on Facebook and found no on YouTube and found a guy who did it solo steel, pedal steel guitar, did this song. It would be perfect for that. Now, I don't play slide or anything, so it doesn't really translate for me. And it, because you're such a sensitive guy, you'd like to send out good wishes to the Navajo Nation. Oh, absolutely. The Navajo, is, the, <clears> this, <throat> this COVID virus thing is, is just wreaking havoc in, in, their, in their groups. And it's like they... It's I really sad. I don't understand why. <laughs> Americans have to give Indians so much shit. I really don't get it, you know? It's sad, a and damn I feel better. If this were a, a real true Native American song, I'd feel better about it. It's not, but it's, it's uh, a lot of But we do send right? good wishes and medicine, sans frontier. Yes. If anybody wants to donate, they've actually been called in to help them. So, uh, medicine, the med- Doctors Without Borders is the name of it in English. Medicine sans frontier is en français. Please consider, even the smallest donation helps. So thank you for that little Maybe next week I'll put PSA, that up right? Yes. But you're right, the Navajo Trail is not actually doesn't have anything to do with This is a it's a TV cowboy song. Right, it's a TV it. cowboy song. And I'm playing my Gene Autry style guitar, so there you go. Uh, every day along about evening. When the sunlight's beginning to pit, I arrive in a slumbering shadow along the Navajo Trail. Oh, when it's night and the crickets are calling and the coyotes are making their way, I by a smoldering fire along the Navajo Trail. I love to listen, listen to the music when the wind is strumming a sagebrush guitar. When over yonder the moon is climbing, it always finds me wishing on a star. 
Well, what do you know? It's morning already, and there's the dawn in so silver and pale. It's time to climb into my saddle and ride the Navajo. Guitar. Cool. So there's a Bing Crosby version of that? Yes, I've heard it. It's, it's not really worth it. Oh, Frankie okay. Lane's got it, <laughs> at least as far as I'm concerned. So here's the other one. And my brother and I used to play this song too a long time ago. Uh, there's a version of Doc Planet, believe it or not, on the old Tommy Concert album. And I said, wow, this is cool. Well, let's see if I can remember all the chords. It's a silly West, Westron song, is what it is. Westron as opposed to an Ishran. Bullet in my shoulder. Blood running down my vest. Twenty in the posse and they never gonna let me rest. Till I became a warning man, I never even known the gun. Now they hunt me like a mountain cat and I'm always on the run. I killed poor Jed Bryant in a bad Laredo fight. I killed him with my bare hands for the girl I loved that night. Jed's brother's out to get me. He's coming with the gang. God rather shoot him out by God than brother watch me. Bullet in my shoulder, blood running down my vest. Twenty in the posse, and the devil won't let me rest. Till I became a wanted man, I never. Now they look at me like a mountain cat and I'm always on the run. She had spangles on her red dress, she had laughter in her voice. When he tried to put his hands on her, my heart left me no choice. Oh, but was she really worth? I guess I'll never know. She'll be drinking someone else's rye while I'm six feet below. Bullet in my shoulder. Blood running down my vest, 20 in the posse, and they never gonna let me rest. Till I became a wanted man, I'll never even own the gunner. Now they hunt me like a mountain cat, and I'm always on the run. Now they hunt me like a mountain cat, and I'm always on the run. Ooh, y'all. There you go. That's a long time passé, y'all. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I lost my sets. Uh oh. So All Doug's right. got a good name for today. Tragedy Whimsy. There you go. I like it. I like it too. Tragedy Whimsy. I like it a lot. Tragedy Whimsy du jour. <laughs> it works for me. Okay, so, so this playing. is <laughs> out of all the weird song that songs that I know, this one may take the cake. I really don't know. I like the idea of work songs. <laughs> And this will lead into the, the, the last one I'm going to play. But uh, from Tom Ashley and listen to Doc and Clint Howard and Fred Price, I learned this song. And it, uh, it was also on the Harry Smith uh, anthology of American folk music, that, that box of CDs, of CDs, of LPs, that had all these ancient songs on there. And this is one that I've always admired. Uh, it's weird. It was recorded first by the Carolina Tar Heels of which Clarence Ashley was a part with Garley Foster and I can't remember the other two, of course, because I'm on the spot and can't remember them. So uh, when I say work songs, uh, 
I played two of them. This is one, and the other one, of course, is the Woody Guthrie song, uh, Pastures of Plenty. Uh, which I didn't put on my list for today. But yeah, but that's a good song. I might do it at the end, though. Yeah. This one is called... <laughs> There's only one other person I knew about this song, but we've never played it. That was Al Thorpe. Because he just laughed and said, you know, he remembers the line. And you'll hear it in a second. So you could do this. So it is. I don't have no idea if it's any good or not because I ran out of soda water. It's fine. I got a bunch of them over there. I know. All right. So it's it's been an hour and a half. So it's probably time to go. I'm gonna play. Should I do the Pastures of Plenty? Is that Absolutely. Because right. Woody Guthrie is Woody Guthrie. Right. So this week we had a lot of I had a lot of fun putting these songs together. I did this three or four days ago and. Uh, I know it's some odd choices, not stuff that you would normally it's hear me sad. play. sad. Yeah, I was in a sad mood today because, I, like I said, I'll end the show like I started. I was a real asshole today, so <laughs> pardonnez-moi, tout le monde, and put me in a bad mood, so a sad mood. Uh, let me go find it because I don't know the words to it. So here Well, it is. in the meantime, you also want to remind everybody that the day is dedicated to people who have pets. 
yes. and other things. And the Navajo Nation. And you have a lot of things on your list. Pets, and I hope the best for Lydia's Gracie, little dog, and uh, all pets. Mine is asleep at my feet. He loves music, believe it or not. Not afraid of thunderstorms. <laughs> loves to sleep. Oh, he just oh woke he's, up. he's up. You woke him up. A Navajo Nation who okay. needs our prayers and help, whatever we can do. Nancy Oshenslaw is here. Hello, Nance. Wow, Nancy, thank you for dropping by. Thanks, Susan, for your sweet compliment. Y'all are so great to see every week. It really helps. It, it really, really it helps. It really does help. I hope it helps you guys, too. Yeah, uh, we do. I will, after we do this, sometime tonight, I will upload this to YouTube so you can forward it to your friends. And don't you write thank you letters? I do write thank you letters. I try at least check, like. Uh, on YouTube, you can subscribe to me, and anytime I put any of these videos, they will appear on the public feed. And, of course, if I ever get a 1,000 likes... Huh, <laughs> But you have to say on YouTube. They think you mean on Facebook. On YouTube, you get to you get to do it straight to YouTube, which is what I'd like to do. I think uh, the sidebar Nola tried to do the same thing. They might have hit. I know they're up to about six hundred now. They still can't even do it straight the, the way they want to. I know that's confusing as tech talk. It's but, just a lot harder than. But I always put it up there because not everybody's on Facebook since so many people have quit uh, because of political divisions and hate yeah. and everything. So. Uh, I do it on Facebook because it's it's easy. They've actually changed Facebook. It looks different. I almost couldn't find the live button, believe it or not. But I, did. <laughs> I said, man, they have breakout rooms now, so they're competing with on <laughs> educational platforms, which is strange. And uh, like I said, I do put it on YouTube. They can't put comments. You can't donate. Be kind of the tip buckets. I have three For of them everybody. out there. Uh, I think I've got the Venmo correctly. And uh, if not, just pass the word. If you have requests, just let us know. We yes, want to thank Joan, and we want to thank Argyle for saying such nice things. You're welcome, and thanks for being here. Leslie Nash has just checked in to say hi. Hello, Leslie. We have a Woody Guthrie song for you, Leslie. It'll be on YouTube, but it'll be also posted after this. It'll be up on Facebook. And you can you always know. ask David questions on his Facebook page. And yes. send requests. And he I'll may not play them. That's the best thing about David's requests. You think it means he's going to play them, but it doesn't. Still working on that floating bridge. That's not an easy song. Tell that to Cato, please. All right. Man, I'll be sleepy John Estes by the time I figure that song out. So anyway. Thank y'all for listening. We'll see y'all next Friday, 5 p.m. Uh, God willing and the creek don't rise. It's something to look forward to. I like doing it. I miss playing in front of people. I know we all do. Uh, like I said, the update with Beausoleil is that we're getting there. <laughs> Tomorrow I get an Ethernet cable to see uh, to, to reduce the latency and hopefully the rest of the guys are working on the same issues as I am. It looks like we're going to have plenty of time to play online this year <laughs> since nothing is really moving very fast in this country and it's probably the right thing. Be careful. Take care of yourselves. Be kind to your pets and your neighbors and your loved ones. Unless they're assholes. Well, you know, everyone gets an opportunity to be an asshole every once in a while, don't they? <laughs> we could make, we could salvage the day. This one is called Pastures of Plenty. It's a song about migrant workers, which I always think is apropos, and I've been playing this song for the past four years, three years. So. Thank y'all. Love you. westward we rode, and your deserts were hot, and your mountains were cold. us and them. We come with the dust and we go with the wind. 
California, Arizona, I harvest your crops. Well, it's up north to Oregon to gather up your hops. Dig the beets from your ground, cut the grapes from your vine. Just set on your table your light and sparkling wine. Green pastures are plenty from dry desert ground. From the Grand Coulee Dam, where the waters run down. Every state in the Union, us migrants have been. We'll work in this fight, and we'll fight till we win. It's always we ramble that river and I All along your green valley I will work till I die My land I'll defend with my life if it be Cause my pastures of plenty must always be free Cause my pastures of plenty must always be free Bravo. Also, we got some. We want to oh. say good night to Dosu, Seti Izo, and somebody just joined us, Alan Sinake. 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 Hello, Alan. How you yeah, doing, bro? Yeah, Sinake. I, actually, anyway, thank you, Alan. <laughs> I'll post it in a minute. You can hear the whole thing in a little bit. That thank is a good. So we should do more Woody Guthrie songs, huh? Woody Guthrie's a great source of info. Yeah. I'll be back next Friday during happy hour. Otherwise. It'll be repeated in a minute as well as on YouTube later tonight or early tomorrow morning. Thanks, Thank everybody. We'll You're see so sweet. Be careful. <laughs>